Hi, this is Paul Fay, and I'm today I'm going to talk about the budgeting. The budget is very important for financial success, so that's why to be financial free, the most important thing you have to do is to know that where is money coming in and when, and also where is money coming out and when. So this is actually dictating in the budgeting. So five budgeting tips for entrepreneur deal with uh, uh, few, uh, fluctuating income and so one of the most difficult things I've had to overcome oh by the way this article is written by the uh, written by the Kerry uh, Smith and I'm just uh, repopulate here with all the link it's the same one of the most difficult things I have to overcome and to is deal with inconsistent income uh, nothing is more frustrating than working hard the entire month and have nothing to show for it or less than nothing in your bank account. It seems nearly impossible to create an adequate budget, project cash flow and grow your business when you can barely make ends meet. So how can you get out of this vicious cycle without working more hours? Here are five budgeting tips I have learned since I have become a sole vendor, internet affiliate marketing and also product owner. And so, open the um, separate the business and the personal bank account. So this is probably the easiest yet, but most overlooked tips for successful deal with irregular income. As an entrepreneur, most of your life and work is, is smashing to one. But when it comes to your personal and business finance, these things need to be separate not just for your salary, although that's enough for the reason, but also for ease of accounting and doing your taxes. Yet yeah, having a separate bank account can do helpful. Simply monthly business report. And by opening the separate business account, you can use this to link to your bookkeeping software, which by creating business report, calculating quarterly taxes, yearly financial statements, a breeze. You don't have to worry about excluding personal transactions from the business one with categorizing them. And proof of income to an IRS or lender, if you ever got it, you can prove your business is legit much more effective since it is treated like its own entity. You also won't have to worry about the lender or the IRS shifting through your personal transaction. Oversourcing the bookkeeping task. Another advantage is come during the tax time in the events you don't have the time or resource to create year and report yourself. You can easily hire a bookkeeper or CPA, but if your accountants are, in com are combined and you will either have to manually square the summaries or let the bookkeeper ship through your personal account, that's more time and more money and less privacy, pay yourself a regular salary. The key to deal with a regular income as a business owner is second is to mimic the regular income schedule as much as possible. Similar to the traditional job, the pay you ever you pay the pay you uh, every Friday or at the beginning or middle of the each month, you should make frequent and regular transfer into your personal and business bank account. So set yourself up like an employee of a business, even if you are the sole and property uh, for the purpose of accounting. Even the bridge they pour the rubber key aside, you say you need to pay yourself first. That's the reason here. So how to do that? Figure out your bare minimum budget. So add up all your personal expenses and necessity. Things like the household bill, rent, food, and gas should be included, but to make sure it's the absolute minimum for what you can survive on. At the event, uh, you need to cut back dramatically to cover from business emergency. You know what, what needs to go to in order to get back on track. Buy yourself a regular paycheck. On the set day each week or month, write yourself a paycheck based on the budget amount. It's essentially, uh, you are going to transfer the funds out of your business account into a personal one. For business expenses and taxes, you will use the rest of the fund in your business account. And prioritize is your spending. The key to having the successful budgeting and with uh, uh, fluctuating income to set a reasonable salary and stick to. So make sure your personal expenses aren't too, aren't too expense, uh, 
extravagant and uh, they remain consistent. Prioritize what you spend and what you are purchasing. Try to get the biggest bang for your butt always. This will make paying yourself a regular salary much easier. Budget cash flow based on uh, minimum monthly income. Take a look at the last 6 and 12 months and of your income expenses. What is the base of your income during the time period? To get more accurate estimate, you may have to include the past 12 to 18 months of your cash flow. You want to be able to project future cash flow based on your minimum monthly income from the past months of year. Since your income varies, you should know that your baseline is and be sure you can make at least that amount. So if you notice that your uh, cash flow baseline doesn't cover your bare minimum budget mentioned in the tip number two, you will have to increase your income or lower expenses to get the back on track. Your baseline of the minimum monthly income is a good measurement of how your cash flow is currently performing. Next one, set aside bo bonuses and prices. And uh, b uh, the t this is a smart tip for the regular employees, but uh, it's also a great strategy as an entrepreneur. When you uh, set uh, when you raise your price, then a big client to have a large month on sale of sale or receive a bonus for the extra money into the separate saving account. And don't uh, mix it with a regular saving account and saving uh, uh, saving goal or saving account, but instead using an extra fund as a cushion to tie you over in the month. You have an uh, increase in the expenses like during the holiday or when you have less income coming in one month. So this saving uh, buffer will allow you to still invest in your business and make sure, make smart choice for growth without being too stressed about where you are going to make up the income from the slow months. Next one, live off one's partner's income. If you have a partner or spouse you live with, try working together to live off just one of your income. Perfectly there is if they have a traditional job with a regular paycheck. You may think this is an impossible idea, but I'm sure it's not. My friend Michelle shares exactly how her and her husband are living the one income together with one of their main focus to use the electronic money toward the debt payment. And she also works as a day job and run her blogging business on the side so she can earn extra money. Still, I need some uh, convincing. Check out some of the comments from the readers or a bunch sexy of the uh, proof that the living on 50% of income is possible. The common thing is uh, you have to make a mental shift about money and make a sacrifice when necessary. You even um, can even join the 50% saving club if you want support from other uh, go-getters who are striving to live one half of the income. Living off one partner's income isn't uh, easy. In fact, it can be uh, downright difficult. However, your bank account and business will be thankful you start it out. Next one, the last uh, point is keep the takeaway for uh, budgeting with irregular income. The takeaway is it's easier to live with budgeting surplus than having to make up the budget deficit. Deficit. So when off is possible, uh, stash away extra cash bonus and any saving into a separate buffer account. You can also have to you also have to prioritize your spending priority and uh, create a budget and uh, project cash flow uh, uh, accurately and separate your business and personal account in order to successfully navigate deal with fluctuating income. It's a bit more difficult to get the pay as an entrepreneur, but the added freedom and flexibility is always worth extra effort. Thank you so much for watching this uh, video regarding budgeting. Um, I appreciate that, and don't forget to subscribe, and hopefully you will be able to budget carefully. And tomorrow I'm going to talk about some more about budgeting tip and uh, um, idea, uh, because budgeting is so important and for every entrepreneur. And so don't forget just making money, but also learn how to manage money. This is Pong Fei, and you have a very blessed day. God bless you. Thank you. Bye-bye.